so i will be discussing uh, some of the high heel topics that is uh, important for your upcoming neat exams and next so there was a recent question in your ins at may 2024 the topic was on gist so i will be discussing in depth in detail of the topics the reason behind this is that the topics is going to get repeated rather than the questions that is going to get repeated so that wasting the time we'll go inside our discussion so the question that has appeared in a recent ins at exam is which of the following is not a marker of gist the options given were secret sdh nestin and some of them are written as energy and the last option is pdgfr and it should be pdgfr alpha to be more precise so what is this this is a gastrointestinal stomal tumor that is it is arising from the mesenchyme it is a mesenchymal tumor the second point is the cell of origin of the gist is interstitial cell of kajal so it is called as pacemaker cell why it is called as pacemaker cell is that it's it has very important function in your migrating motor complex in your gi tract in your physiology you would have read about this this interstitial cells of kajal are most predominantly found all over in your gi tract and it's most dominant in your fundus of your stomach fundus of your stomach this is an important site for your gist to occur later on i will come to the sites of gist so it is the third most common tumor in gi tract next to your adenocarcinoma or your lymphoma and it's more common slightly more predominant in males and the median age of occurrence is 60 to 65 years so next important thing you must no is the site of your occurrence of gist the most common site is your stomach that is almost like half of your 50% of gist occur in stomach in stomach especially it is more common in fundus so i have already told you the reason also for that it's more predominant more concentrated in your fundus and from fundus it moves towards your antrum the interstitial cells are more predominant in your fundus so it's eventually should be more common in the fundus of your stomach next most common site would be your small bowel which is around small 25% and 5% of it might be in the rectum and other rare sites would be your esophagus right so after a site you must know about the mutations that is occurring in your gist so what are the mutations that is going to occur in your gist the first important thing is you must know about kit it is also called as a steel factor or stem cell factor okay next important mutation that is going to occur is pdgf or alpha which is nothing but your platelet derived growth factor alpha and some of the mutations that is going to occur is called as wt kit what is wt kit wt kit is nothing but your wild type gist or is wild type mutations so what are the wild type mutations you see that is mainly that is mainly your sdh that is your mainly sdh mutations 
and neurofibromatosis type 1 related and BRAF related. So the question that came in your INA set is basically based upon this mutation that is seen in your gist. So seek it is seen PDGFR alpha is also seen and SDH is also seen in wild type gist. So seek it is seen SDH is seen and PDGFR alpha is also seen. So which is not a marker the question should be more prompt that which is not a mutation seen in your gist which will be your nestin or NNC. So that will be your answer.